for you know those who have a rising PSA and have been told they have early stage prostate cancer what kind of advice should should they get out of this conversation that we're ha we're having right now what do they need to know uh, simplistically the uh, the first thing to always consider is go slow and and somehow or another don't try and assume that you know what's going on because the whenever you hear the word cancer you assume that's uh, uh, danger signs take action uh, and and move quickly uh, and that would be the truth for any other type of cancer, not for prostate cancer. So uh, there, the second thing, go slow. The first thing is go slow. Second thing is education. Uh, we have to re-educate ourselves because we've all had someone in the family that had some serious cancer and maybe died, and, and we, we tend to think that this is going to be like that. It's not. And about half the men, Literally, 50% of the men that are diagnosed with these uh, uh, newly dosed, diagnosed prostate cancers can safely watch it with no treatment at all. Simply monitor it with periodic PSA tests and scans, and the vast majority of those men, it will remain stable for the rest of their life. They'll never need treatment. And this is a wonderful advantage when you're talking about a surgery and radiation, which can cause devastating effects on uh, uh, sexual and urinary function. Did you know, each year more than 23 million U.S. men get PSA screenings for prostate cancer. One million undergo prostate biopsies. 250,000 are diagnosed with prostate cancer. Half of new cases are low risk, unlikely to spread or become life-threatening. Yet 90% will receive immediate treatment with surgery or radiation, despite only a 3% chance of the disease progressing or becoming deadly. A man has to make many decisions and all of them affect his life. If he's diagnosed with prostate cancer, he faces a really tough one. Some prostate cancers are high risk, aggressive, and more likely to spread. Others are low risk, least likely to have bad outcomes. The biopsy says cancer, but current diagnostic tools provide limited information about how aggressive a man's individual disease is. So most men decide to treat prostate cancer immediately. Once treated, many men experience serious long-term side effects, like incontinence and sexual impotence. Immediate treatment isn't always needed, but right now a man can't be sure if his cancer is the kind that is likely to require treatment or if he's okay to wait for now. What if there was a test that could determine how aggressive prostate cancer is? Genomic Health is developing a new test to do just that. By reviewing the underlying biology of the tumor, and using genes from multiple biologic pathways. The test can predict the aggressiveness of prostate cancer when diagnosed, allowing a man to make a more informed treatment decision with confidence, taking care of himself with more information and greater peace of mind.